This video was made possible by the Content Creator Program. An MCOC champion is temporarily granted to select accounts for the purpose of allowing the community a first look at a new champion coming to the contest. All granted champions are removed from accounts before they are officially released to the community. Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. So we've got this little lady here for a short time, and we're going to give you a first look at her. Now, I don't know really anything about her. We're going to find out some things together. We're going to take this first look together. So let's take a look at her attributes first. All right. Now, this is a rank three SIG 200 champion. Uh, you can see the champion tags that she's working with here. Small champion. She's a hero and she's offensive damage over time. All right, now here are her attributes. We're going to switch over to percentages. And one of the things that I noticed right off the bat is her block proficiency. Her block proficiency is low. That's not what we like to see. That means that in later game content, she's going to be taking a lot of damage unless you play her so that you don't take blocked hits at all. Uh, the block damage can be insane at the end game, all right? So we don't like seeing low block proficiency on new champions, okay? So that's a red flag for me already. Let's take a look at her synergies, all right? So one of the things that I look at in the synergies is not just what the synergy does, but who the synergy is with. And are they a champion that you are likely to bring on a team? All right, and if it's worth it. So the first one here, West Coast Avengers, Tigra, and yes, that's how you pronounce her name, Tigra. Uh, opponents have a minus 80% purifiability accuracy for 0.25 seconds after being struck. I don't know whether that's something useful how useful it is but hawkeye is not a bad champion war machine i can't really see too many people bringing him along on their team but hawkeye is actually underrated i like hawkeye i've liked hawkeye for a long while even before he got reworked all right let's look at the uh next one here feline possession uh tigra can nullify any unstoppable buffs while the opponent is suffering the effects of rupture that looks interesting just from what i know which is admittedly not a lot she relies a lot on these ruptures and we'll talk more about those when we look over her abilities so you've got black panther as a synergy and a uh, civil war i don't see myself bringing either of those two along i have them both and i don't think I'm likely to rank them up unless they get a rework. So depending on how useful that is, they may just be some dead weight to bring along on your team. They're not horrible, but depending on the content and where you're at in the game, you're not really going to use them. So not really happy to see those two. Speaking of that, these next two, again, are champions that are not likely to make it to my roster, okay? Um, Tigra, when fighting small champions, the ones with the small tag, heavy attacks have plus 50% increased attack rating. So she does rely a bit on her heavies. Uh, she can get ruptures on her heavies, more on that later. So that's a useful synergy but I'm not going to bring these two on my, or either one of these, on my team. Definitely not Howard the Duck, because I don't like him. Vulture, I wish he was better. He's not that terrible. All right. Now, this one I like, because I like Elsa. She's actually pretty cool. Uh, Tigra, when fighting large and extra large champions, increased the duration of rupture effects by 25%. This synergy I could see myself using. I like Ele um, Elsa Bloodstone. The only reason that I have not ranked my Elsa Bloodstone up 
is because I was hoping to get Aegon and I have a limited number of skill class catalysts. So I didn't want to take her up. She's ranked three. Otherwise, I would have taken her up. I love her. She is a lot of fun. Okay. So that to me is a win in the uh, synergies. All right. And let's take a look here. The last one, romance, uh, all champions plus 5% power gain. Not that exciting. Luke Cage out of those three is worthy of being on the team. Okay. Now let's take a look at her abilities. Signature ability, start the fight with Primal Sense and Huntress Sense for 12 seconds. Now, I've listened to my fellow content creators talking a little bit about this, and the consensus seems to be that this is extremely good, so good that she needs to be awakened to be good. All right. Now, on all attacks, uh, on hit, inflict a non-stacking passive neutralize. Now, neutralize, that's something a little bit different than you're used to. We've heard stagger. We've got slow. But this neutralize, um, for 2.5 seconds, if this neutralize is already active, its duration is refreshed instead. Neutralize opponents have minus 100% buff ability accuracy. Now, what neutralize does is they will not gain buffs while the neutralize is on. Okay. Think of, um, who is it? Uh, Mephisto on his special one, that soul, uh, entrapment or, or imprisonment. That's what it's like. So they're not going to gain any buffs. And what's more, if they do try to get a buff during that time. Not only are they not going to get it, but that's when you're going to get a rupture that deals physical damage over one second. Okay, so basically, while it's up and it's going to keep getting refreshed as you are more aggressive, they're going to fail to gain their buffs and they're going to get extra damage. So if you're fighting somebody that you know, tends to get buffs a lot, you're going to end up doing a lot of damage. Now, a quick note on that minus 100%. You know, a lot of people wonder, why is it minus 100%? Why doesn't it just say it shuts down their ability accuracy? That's because it actually subtracts 100%, but there are nodes, abilities that can push them above 100% ability accuracy. So if someone has 200% ability accuracy, this is going to only go minus 100%. So they're still going to have their ability accuracy. That is my understanding of how that works. So just bear that in mind. But for the most part, it shuts them down. Now, here are those heavy attacks that we were talking about. While charging a heavy attack and point one, you know, point 0.10, seconds after launching a heavy attack all non-contact hits from a special attack have a 100 percent chance to miss that's something new uh and it also takes some skill and timing uh there are concerns over how viable this is it's a very interesting mechanic but there are champions that you can handle their special attacks without having to try and get this timing down. Now, if she interrupts, which is an intercept or anything like that while she's charging, you know, or cause them to miss, remember a hundred percent chance to miss on those non-contact projectiles, then each hit will inflict a rupture. And these ruptures are going to do even more physical damage than the ones that we spoke of earlier. And it's gonna be over 18 seconds. Now, here are her uh, special attacks here. Uh, if the opponent is far away, at any point during a special attack, she gains unblockable for the next hit. I've seen some things uh, with Tigra 
where she's able to get that unblockable just before she launches her heavy and uh or a special and it is unblockable uh but you know there's a lot to tigra um she's very skill based so we're probably not going to showcase all of what you can do with her uh in this video because i don't know how to play her to her fullest all right but as more time uh develops more will be learned people will get a little bit better practice with her that sort of thing all right now when she's fighting non-cosmic champions um if affected by weakness slow or exhaustion debuffs prevent the activation of tigra's personal miss and unblockable effects so that's more for when you're fighting against her and here are her special attacks um, I'm not going to go into each one of these here. Uh, we're going to get to the gameplay. I don't want this to be too long of a video, but I want to leave these up here for you guys to, uh, take a look at. And the more I learn about Tigra, you know, eventually when I actually have her for real, I will make a video where we go more into her abilities uh, Dorky Diggity Dave already has a deep dive video where he talks a little bit about her abilities, but he said he didn't want to go too in depth to allow the content creator program folks to, you know, at least have something to talk about that he didn't talk about. So let's uh, take a look at her animations and her damage and we'll see what she looks like. All right, we're going to go into Realm of Legends and play around with Winter Soldier. And again, I don't know the best rotations to use. Uh, we're gonna take a look at her special attacks uh, for the first time here. Uh, so first thing we're gonna do is try to get to a special one. Okay, so you see these uh, neutralizes. And if you're really aggressive, they'll stay up for a while. And you can see the multi-hit combos that she does. All right, got a little miss in there. All right, let's try and get the uh, special two going. She feels really smooth to play. That much I'll say. All right, there's her special two. Wow. That is a long special two. All right, now let's get to that special three. And we haven't tried doing her heavy attacks or anything like that. All right, let's try and see if we can. Uh, see if we can get him to uh, fire his uh, special here. Try and do the heavy attack. There we go. Smooth. But I let it go and went flailing. She takes a lot of damage. She's not suicide friendly. All right, let's take a look at her special three. <laughs> oh. Oh, I'm a fan of that. I like that special. Okay. All right. Now, before we go, let me see if I can do this. I don't know if I can. But I'll try and do another heavy. Try and push him to that his special two again. Okay. And see if you're fast enough. Like that. All right. See, wait. Nope. And then he drained me so I couldn't even fire off my special three. What I was trying to do, I was trying to time it so that I could intercept his attack with a heavy. But that doesn't seem like that's a, 
a simple, easy thing to do with her. I'll try it one more time if uh, I don't go down. All right, there we go. Okay. Okay, well, we got him, uh, but it was only because he didn't attack. But I think with some uh, practice, reminds me of Hela. You know, if you get really good with her heavy attacks, you know, it's actually pretty, pretty damaging. All right. And I don't know her damage. Like I said, I don't know the uh, good rotation to use with her. Let's try this again. Here we go. Yeah. And see, I held it down just a little bit too long and got hit. All right. So, so far, honestly, I'm not really that impressed. I'm not that impressed with her at all. Um, I have champions in my roster that uh, I would use over her any day of the week. Uh, but this is just my first impressions. You know, she's a very skill based champion. So that means you're going to have to gain quite a bit of skill to use her effectively. And then the question is, how good is she if you dot all the I's and cross all the T's with her? You know, how effective is she? And honestly, she does not seem all that special. I've looked at some other videos and by now you guys may have seen some other videos. She doesn't seem that impressive to me, honestly. Um, if she goes low in the arena, I might pick her up just for a new champion, but she's not somebody that, you know, I just have to have. So take it for what it is. I don't know if you guys, uh, saw something you liked or saw something you didn't like about her, but that block proficiency, her low block proficiency, the high skill required, uh, and a possibly low payoff is a pass for me you know now that doesn't mean she's a bad champion but at my point in the game especially i would not have a use for her outside of the arena that heavy is cool and she's really smooth to play so she's a fun champion for sure but as far as utility and usefulness uh there are other champions that uh, are far more useful and easier to play than she seems to be at this point in time. So that's going to do it, guys. Thank you all for watching. Uh, click like, subscribe, leave a comment. Let me know what you thought about this video. And you all have a blessed day.